He has completely denied these allegations. He is working to find those who are quote unquote spreading false rumors about him. Eric, what do you make of his reaction? It's a definite non-apology at the moment. It's a uh, you know, realization, uh, I would assume, that he needs to distance himself from the companies as they sort this stuff out and you know, step away from his board seats and roles. But he's certainly not taking sort of responsibility for the ac accusations and calling it, you know, a scheme to a smear campaign. So, uh, you know, we don't have sort of a real apology yet, but he's clearly putting some distance between himself and his companies facing these five allegations, six accounts, and, you know, a real arrest that occurred in London over a rape. You know, he was de-arrested, but there, there were questions about that as well. Shervin Pishafar, a major Democratic donor, has given $500,000 or such to Democratic candidates. Senator Cory Booker, Senator Cam Kamala Harris have donated uh, the funds that he donated to them to charity. You know, we also heard in a statement from Uber that they support those who, who come forward to discuss se sexual harassment. They commend their bravery. And uh, we've learned that uh, Shervin Pishafar is no longer a special advisor to Uber as he was under Travis. Kalanick. Right. Yeah. I mean, it seems like Shervin's relationship with Uber was a, largely through Travis Kalanick, who is close to once he left, you know, Dara, the new CEO, hasn't really relied on him. And I think the company's trying to put some distance between themselves and Shervin that he's no longer a special advisor. It took, uh, you know, the Democratic candidates the weekend, I think, to sort of figure out what they were going to say. But, you know, we have those two senators. Uh, I mean, Cory Booker was hosted at Shervin Peshavar's house. So, you know, he was doing a major Democratic fundraiser, major bundler for President Obama's presidential campaign, and a donor to the Democratic National Committee. So, you know, we have two uh, senators now saying that they're going to return the funds.